What's going on guys, this is AT coming at you with another video, another one. Another one, another one, another one, another one. Well, AT, Affordable Tech, that's not my initials, don't forget. Did I just run? I didn't mean to. Today I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your MacBook Pro. I believe it runs from the years 2009 to 2012. You can upgrade your MacBook Pro, the hard drive, into a solid state drive. And what this does basically is make your laptop load applications much faster. And you'll see a huge difference. It's way easier than it sounds. I took it to Apple. They told me to replace my hard drive was 300 and something dollars and I was just like what 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 are you guys crazy I mean they're just taking advantage of so many people there so anyways you can do this with less than $80 I believe I will put the link to the solid state hybrid drive that's I bought um, and these screws that you're gonna need you might have them in the house might not but they're only a couple bucks the hard drive I think is $60 for a one terabyte, which is a thousand gigabytes. So you'll never run out of space. And there's, first off, there's gonna be eight screws on the back of the MacBook. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna wanna unscrew these first, okay? And by the way, these marks are not on my MacBook. This is a invisible shield, so before you comments, Start trolling up on the bottom. Don't don't get started. So for these on the back, they're just regular the Phillips head. Just this one. So I'm going to remove. Make sure you don't lose these screws. They're very tiny. So put them in somewhere. Um, that's really safe. So keep it right there. It's not gonna fall off my desk, hopefully. Sometimes the screws are pretty tight, so you're gonna have to put some force there. Okay. So this is what the new solid state hard drive looks like. Pretty much exactly what the regular hard drive what's in the laptop right now looks like um, this was I think $57 on eBay I will put the link in the description so next what we're gonna want to do is take the cover off so we're gonna just take this off like that yours uh, once you guys take it off the inside over here might have a lot of dust just wipe it with a damp cloth not extremely wet so next first thing you're gonna want to do make sure your laptop is turned off you do not want it to be turned on that's dangerous and you might kill yourself and I'm not responsible for any type of fires just kidding that was a joke okay so you're gonna want to um, this is the battery right here so the first thing this part right here take it off make sure the battery is not plugged in this is the most important step of this process because if you don't do that something dangerous might happen and dangerous equals bad so you just want to unplug that that's all you have to do if you guys want another video on how to replace your MacBook battery give this video a thumbs up or comment down below so I'll know so next off this black rail right here is what's holding the hard drive in place so we have to unscrew these two screws to be able to take the hard drive out. So once again, it's just the Phillips head. There you go. It just you don't even have to unscrew it completely. Just gotta lift it up a bit. There you go. So this is it. Just keep this aside. Just keep it like that. Next. Your um, hard drive should be able to come out just like that. And on the top of the hard drive is this black part. You're going to want to gently just remove it from the hard drive. 
really gently. I don't want anything to happen to this. So that's it. So now this is the hard drive that was in the MacBook. It's a Hitachi 500 gigabyte. You just want to keep this aside. So this is the new solid state hard drive. Um, so what you're going to want to do is this right here is actually, you're gonna need another screwdriver um, that's plus or minus. Or, yeah, that's what I call the end zone screwdrivers, plus or minus, it just makes it simpler. It's actually a T6 Torx screwdriver. It's a very weird shaped head. So I'm gonna put the link of this. I bought this for like two bucks on eBay. And you're gonna want to, these four screws that are on the side of the hard drive you're going to want to take them off because you're going to need to put it onto your solid state drive if you don't do this your um, solid state drive is going to move around and it's going to make noise and you don't want that to happen so I'm going to put the T6 in the screw and simply unscrew four of them that's all you have to do I don't need to do this because I already have four there and once you take those off you're going to want to simply put it on the solid state drive and you can just screw it back in really easy I'm going to put the link T6 Torx screwdriver you can even get them at Home Depot but it's probably like six bucks on Home Depot versus two dollars on eBay so that's all you have to do once you get the screws on here you're going to want to plug this in back onto this end of the hard drive all right, just like that. Be very gentle with that cable. I think it's like 80 bucks if you break it or damage it. So once you put it in like that, also this tape, this piece of tape is gonna be on the old one. So remove that and attach it to this. And that just helps to uh, pull it out if you need to take the solid state hard drive out. So what we're gonna do is just insert that, insert that, push it in place and you're just going to want to take this black piece that we removed earlier, sit it in between, and screw it back in. Voila! Apple would charge you $350 for this. Unbelievable what Apple's doing, but people don't know better. Or they just don't care about saving money. And uh, by the way, this MacBook Pro is a 2010 edition and it still works brand new. Also, don't forget the battery. You're going to want to plug that back in just like that. Put the cover back on. And put the screws back in. If you guys are ultra, also. Ultra, what am I doing? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? If you guys are also interested in um, what to do after you install the solid state hybrid drive, because it's not just going to load up with your previous window, you're going to want to back this up onto an external hard drive. I'm going to uh, Put a part two on this video if you guys are interested it's really simple i don't want you guys to think this is a complicated process besides this uh, the external hard drive is a bit expensive but i'm sure there's plenty of deals on uh, external hard drives these days on slick deals uh, ebay amazon I bought my portable external hard drive for, I believe it was $50 for 500 gigabyte, and uh, you can get much better deals now. I'm just going to screw everything back in, and that does it for this one, guys. Please let me know uh, if you guys have any questions, um, concerns. That's all I have for this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up if this helped you. 
until next time, this is your boy, AT Affordable Tech. Peace. Yeah.